A question we get a lot is, how does hyperbaric oxygen affect blood pressure? Or does hyperbaric oxygen affect blood pressure? If you have low blood pressure or high blood pressure, are there any other considerations that need to be made before going into a hyperbaric chamber? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. So ultimately, does hyperbaric have an effect on blood pressure? The short answer is not a whole lot. So what is blood pressure? Blood pressure is literally the pressure of the fluid of blood inside your circulatory system. We measure two numbers, the systolic and the diastolic. So what is the pressure when your heart is at rest? The diastolic. And what is the pressure of your heart when it's pumping? The systolic. And so then we get two numbers, and that's the idea of understanding what the blood pressure is when the heart is at rest and when the heart is pumping. The question is, going into a hyperbaric chamber, which also is a pressure conversation, does the pressure of the chamber have an effect on the pressure of your blood? And again, the short answer is no, not much. Why? One reason is because what's called Pascal's law. Pascal's law states that pressure applied to an enclosed fluid will be equally transmitted in every direction. So as pressure is being applied to your body from the hyperbaric chamber, it's literally being applied to your body and all your fluids equally in every direction. And as a result, there's no massive change in pressure at any one point in that system. That's why when you go into a hyperbaric chamber, you don't feel pressure on your arms, on your legs, versus you might feel pressure in your ears or in your sinuses. Those aren't fluid-filled spaces, those are air-filled spaces. So air-filled spaces are affected by the pressure of the chamber, while hard, solid surfaces and liquid materials are not compressible, therefore not felt by the pressure of the chamber. If you're finding this content helpful, please like it, please subscribe, and please share it. It's really important to us that we get this content to the people searching for it, and the more engagement we have, the more likely they're gonna find it. Whenever taking blood pressure, either prior to or during or after a hyperbaric session, we've seen anywhere between maybe a four millimeter mercury to up to an eight millimeter mercury difference. And typically, even with pretty significant hypertension, a four to eight millimeter mercury difference for a short period of time, it's not significant enough of a change to really create any problems for people. In the long term, for most people, due to continuous and intermittent exposure to hyperbaric, those with hypertension will typically actually see vasodilation long-term, leading that patient to actually having lower blood pressure. How about those with low blood pressure? Is there a concern? Well, it's not that somebody with low blood pressure is going to have an issue in the chamber. Again, the pressure of the chamber is ultimately not really going to affect pressure inside their circulatory system. However, hyperbaric is very parasympathetic. It is very relaxing. And so if you have somebody with low blood pressure going into the chamber and they're laying down, they're breathing oxygen, they're even more relaxed in the chamber, more vasodilation in the chamber, they're not at any other risk other than Potentially, if they get up too quickly, they could become a little dizzy or a little lightheaded. And so in those cases, if you know somebody's relatively low blood pressure, they can certainly enjoy chamber sessions, but you do want to be aware, have them sit up very slowly or possibly, depending on your chamber style, have them turn to their knees first before standing up, just to make sure they're getting some good blood flow and not just sitting straight up and standing up right away where they might get dizzy, lightheaded, and potentially could fall. Ultimately, it's a very safe therapy and has very little, if any, effect on blood pressure. Thanks again for your attention. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.